Welcome back to the channel everybody. I hope you guys all like chili because we are doing a smoked chili today. But I'm gonna start it off a little different. I've got all this lean beef trim that I had in the freezer. I'm gonna smoke this and then show you what we're gonna do with it. So right now we're just gonna open this and get in the smoker. Smoker's going already, it's up to temp. That's at 250, perfect. So uh, let's get going. So these are all bags of trim from uh, the beef jerky I make, uh, brisket, whatever else I'm doing. I save all that lean meat, which is good. I usually use it for sausage making, but today we're making chili. I'm gonna keep it on this pan. This pan has holes in it, so it's gonna let uh, the smoke come through it too. And you gotta remember, the more surface area you have, the more smoke flavor you're gonna have. And you got, I've got all this surface area, which is gonna pick up smoke. I'm not using a lot of ingredients today. And the holes are gonna let anything drip off, any excess water, any excess fat that renders out, that's all gonna drip out too, which is perfect. We don't want it in there. So to the smoker we go. Here we go. Just putting it up here. I'm gonna turn it this way. I'm gonna keep it on the hotter side. Oh, you never get used to that. So there we go. I'm gonna let that, from experience, I'm gonna let that go at least two hours. We're gonna come back, but we're gonna go inside I don't trust the weather. We're gonna go inside and start the other portion of this chili. The only other things I'm gonna really put in here, onion, I've got some cold smoked bacon I'm gonna dice up, mushrooms, tomatoes, and kidney beans. I know not everybody likes kidney beans. If you don't want them, don't put them in. This is kind of like the way I like it. Mushrooms as well, if you don't like them, don't put them in. But I'm gonna use a little bit of cold smoked bacon. We're gonna dice that up. I want a little extra smoky flavor in there from that end. And so we're just gonna dice this up and get it going in here. Slices like this. Put those in here for now. I'm gonna do is in half, in half again. And then just a nice small dice. Okay, got these all done, beautiful. And I'm gonna set up the, the hot plate here and we're gonna start making the sauce. We've got the induction cooktop all set up. I love using this thing. Let's turn it on. I love how fast this thing heats up, it's awesome. I am gonna use a little bit of butter just to get everything going. Look at that, it's melting already, that's, that's awesome. So the first thing we're gonna throw in, the onions and the bacon, just all of it together. Let this cook down a little bit, get some color on everything. It's been going a few minutes now, I'm just gonna let it go longer, uh, especially with the onions you don't wanna do them too hot too fast because they will burn. We got time, right? So just enjoy it and let it, let the flavors build. It's starting to get some nice color on there. Mushrooms. I don't have a lot of mushrooms in here, but that's, I just like them. We've got some beautiful color happening here. And uh, let's dump all you guys in. It smells so good, mm, I can't wait. Spice wise, I'm gonna keep it fairly simple. I've got some uh, ground up ancho chili. I just love this flavor. And like always, spicing is up to you. I've got some sea salt here I'm gonna add to it this time. Cause you have to remember, I haven't added anything to the, the meat. 
You can always add more, so try not to go too crazy at the beginning. And I've just got some good old chili powder. And I will fine tune it after the meat is in. Let that go, I'm gonna turn it down a little bit and we're just gonna let it simmer now. We're almost at two hours, so I'm gonna dump these guys in and get them uh, incorporated into this chili. Okay, I just went and checked the meat. It's just been two hours. Uh, I'm gonna leave it in a little bit longer. I want them a little bit smokier. And uh, like I said, we got time. It's a lazy day and uh, I want this done right and tasting beautiful. So the beef, beautiful color, looks great. I'm excited. I know you guys are probably really hungry, but we're not done yet. I've got one more step. I've got another favorite tool of mine set up. We've got the grinder. I've got the coarse plate. So we're gonna grind this and then throw it in there to finish off the chili. Okay, I've got this bowl full. We're gonna add it to that. I might need more, but we'll see. Okay, here we go. I don't know how much I'm gonna need, but. Anyways, I'm gonna just mix this and let it uh, simmer for a little bit longer. And then we're gonna try this stuff. It's been simmering for another 15 minutes. I just want everything to get to know each other. I did add a touch more water to get it where I want. Looks beautiful. Now let's taste it. I also have some smoked, cold smoked cheese, cheddar. I'm gonna put the link up. And I also have some pickled jalapenos. Put a few on top. Yes, it's gonna be hot. Mm. Oh, that's good. Oh yeah, oh, that that's wonderful. But when you add that cheese, a little bit of jalapeno, just get it all together. Mm. That's a winner, people. Smoked chili. Well, thanks for watching everybody. Uh, I've got lunch for a few days now, which is awesome. So make a big batch and portion it off if you want, freeze it. You're gonna have lunch or dinners. Beautiful. Guys, thanks for watching. Hope you had fun with this one. I did. And uh, happy eating.